Welcome to Microsoft Development Essentials. I'm your instructor, Eric Frick. In this class, I'll show you how to build a software development environment with free tools from Microsoft. Microsoft has a great deal of free development tools, and the list is getting longer every day. I'll show you where to download them, how to install them, and how to get up and running with each tool. In Section 1, I will cover how to download and install Visual Studio Community Edition 2015. First, I'll start with an overview of Visual Studio. Next, I'll go through the detailed installation instructions, and then finally, I'll demonstrate a sample program written in C-sharp. In Section 2 of the class, I'll, I'll cover how to download and install SQL Server 2014 Express Edition. First, I'll start with a brief overview and history of Microsoft SQL Server. Next, I'll cover how to download and install the product. And then finally, I'll go through an example of how to utilize the SQL Server Management Console. In Section 3 of the class, I'll introduce you to Visual Studio Online. I'll start with the features of Visual Studio Online and to follow up with how to sign up for your free account. Finally, I'll show you how to upload your source code to the cloud and utilize the basic features of Visual Studio Online from Visual Studio Express Edition. In Section 4 of the class, I'll demonstrate the features of Visual Studio Light Switch. This is also a free download that's part of Microsoft Office Development Tools. I'll show you how to download and install this product, and I'll demonstrate a simple c -sharp program uh, developed using uh, Light Switch. In the last section of the class, I'll wrap up the class and present some resources for additional information about Microsoft software development. For this class, you'll need a computer running the Windows operating system. Unlike the Java world, these tools were built only for the Microsoft environment. Windows 7 or better is recommended to run these tools. In addition, your PC will need to have a minimum of 4 gigabytes of RAM. 8 gigabytes is recommended. You'll also need enough disk space to install these tools, 4.2 gigabytes for SQL Server and 4 gigabytes for Visual Studio, so roughly 10 free gigabytes to install them both. After completing this class, you'll have a very capable software development environment that is capable not only of supporting an individual software development project, but can also support a team collaborating on a project together. Many of these tools were not available as free downloads a few years ago, but now you can get them for, for free and really build a powerful environment. So let's get started. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks.